So here is another video for the iPad and this time we're going to be taking a look at the top apps for the iPad in terms of utilities. So you're going to be getting the best utilities for your iPad in 2018. Let's begin with the video right now. Well, how is life going guys? This is Apple Fox channel here and in this video I want to talk about the iPads obviously but not specifically this iPad mini or any other iPad. It doesn't matter which iPad you have you will probably be able to download these apps. So let's begin with the best utilities you can get right now on your iPad. So on this screen as you can see we have two folders of the apps. The first one is for the proactivity apps which I already made a video about earlier on the channel and if you want to check it out the link can be found in the description down below. And the second folder is for the utility apps that I'm gonna be talking about in this video right here. If you don't want to miss anything important in terms of your iPad in the future you should definitely hit a subscribe button right now and come back to watch the video. So let's begin with the first app on the list and this one is called Reverse Context. And if you open it up, you're going to be able to see that this is just a translator. And you know what it is, you know what it does, so there isn't much what I can tell you about it. But there is one great feature that I just really like about it. This is probably the main reason why this app is on my list. And that is the enhanced learning mode. So you not only translate the sentences or translate the words that you don't understand, but you can also enter the learning mode and you can learn the stuff here. So it's really amazing. But, of course, the amount of languages is kind of limited here. You don't have many of those available. If you, for example, are using Google Translate, you have much more languages available. But you don't have the learning mode and you can even save it and the app will obviously be able to translate it. So it's really great and this one works really well. And let's move on to the next app and this one is called Dataflow. And now you probably have some idea what this app is going to do. And I get it that not every single iPad has actually the ability to be like connected to the cellular network. So you don't have the option to put SIM card in this iPad as well. So you can only use the Wi-Fi but that doesn't matter because this app is also able to track the usage of the internet on the Wi-Fi. So let's say for example you have one gigabyte left and you have a cycle because within this app you can also plan cycles. Like as you can see we have the 30 days left. And maybe you have turned on the cellular data on your iPhone that you have around and you have created the personal hotspot and the iPad is connected to it. So you want to keep track of what's going on with those megabytes. You want to make sure that you are not exceeding the limit and you don't always want to take a look at the iPhone. So this is the reason why you should download this app and use it in case you have problem with your internet usage. So for the people that don't have problem with it or have unlimited connection to the internet, well then it's okay, you don't have to download this app. But for the people that need it, this one is really great. But again, why don't you go with the competition? Like what's different about this? Well first of all I need to say that this app also features a widget which is absolutely amazing and it's really useful and also this app allows you to speed or to track the speed of your internet you are connected to and also you can plan a cycle of how many days you want and let's talk about the third app on my list and this one is called copied which is pretty self-explanatory and this app basically does one thing everything what you copy on your ipad even though it doesn't have to be in this app it doesn't matter where it is it will always appear right here and it is absolutely useful and completely free to use so this app has to be on my list of the best utilities for the ipad because, for example, let's open up the Safari right here. Even though it doesn't really matter, Safari is just an example right here. But as you can see, I have this link at the top. So all I have to do now is click on the copy. And the link is actually copied right here. So as you can see right here, this is the post or this is the link that I have just copied. And it has instantly appeared in the app. So it is absolutely useful. And there are some other features and some other great things you can do with the app. You can even search for the things that you have copied and it's really useful in my opinion so I think you'll definitely be using the app. And also what's really cool about this app is the ability to use it while multitasking. So for example if I open up Safari right here I can actually swipe just like this and I can bring up the toggle or I can bring up the window of the app which can be enhanced to look like this so you can move it around. So the next app on my list is one called Magic Cleaner. So let's open it up and as you can see this is the app I was talking about. But keep in mind that you can only use it in a portrait mode and if you want to use it in a landscape you don't have the option to. I think this app is officially called Magic iPhone Cleaner even though it is fully optimized for the iPad as well. 
but you know like it is not optimized for the Apple Watch because you don't really need it there. So here inside you can click on the clean junk. So keep in mind that if you are going to be doing this, you're going to get a pop-up telling you that your storage is almost full. And if you do that, you just have to click on the done button and it will be okay. So right now it is cleaning all of the mess up. And why would you want to do that? Well, simply because you want to make your iPad faster, just like everybody. So I think you definitely want to do that. And now as you can see, even though 60 megabytes isn't really that much, but it's great, you know, like, at least just a little bit, but the amount is getting bigger and bigger, so it's kind of really nice. And lastly, there is this app which is called PayPal Text Calculator. I know that many people are using eBay nowadays, and because eBay has bought PayPal, then many people are gonna be using PayPal with the eBay. But you also have to pay some taxes, which you can easily calculate using this app. I know that this is not probably useful for everybody, but hopefully for the people that are selling stuff online and for the people that are really into this, hopefully it will be useful for them and hopefully they will be able to download it and use it productively. So let's open it up to see what it looks like. So here you can see the, or you can choose your country. So basically you click on the United States if you're from the US or Canada or whatever you're from. If you are from the countries from Europe which are not listed out in here, so you have Germany here or you have Sweden and Switzerland and if you are using Euro and you are not from the countries you can click right here in Europe or whatever it doesn't really matter so you have to use it like this and you basically enter the amount you want to calculate the tax and it's gonna do it for you so these were all the apps I wanted to talk about but let's add one bonus one and this one is called Wi-Fi map and what this app is able to do is just this is basically a map of the Wi-Fi connection worldwide so it doesn't matter if I zoom in on the London, you can see that if I get close enough, you can see all of the Wi-Fi spots in here. As you can see, there are tons of them. And as you look down on it, you can see that there are 54 Wi-Fi hotspots near me. And it's absolutely useful. I think you can even write some reviews of the Wi-Fi. So for example, if you are going to have a trip or if you are going somewhere, you're going to be able to check out what the Wi-Fi is there like. And you'll be able to see if there is Wi-Fi at first place. So it's absolutely useful and I think it, it is definitely a great way how you can check out all of the Wi-Fi stuff. You can even see that this is a cafe or this is a house or I know it's really useful for me because you can check out all of the Wi-Fi's if you are traveling to somewhere. So if you want to, you can download this one as well. So that would be the end of this video guys. I just really want to thank you for watching and hopefully if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like to let me know that you liked it. And also subscribe for more content like this because I post a lot of app related videos that you will definitely be interested in. So have a nice day and see you in the next video guys. Peace out.